Hey everybody, Kevin Barnett, Carbide Studio, and last week I posted some jewelry that I had made on the Nomad. I was cutting some brass, making some Air Force Academy charms. I had several people ask, could this be done on the Shapeoko Pro or the Shapeoko Ford, not just the Nomad? Let's answer that right now. It's always fun to get a little creative with this. A tiger that I traced in Adobe Illustrator brought it over to Carbide Create. Cleaned up the lines, deleted about half of them because they were overlapping. It was huge. I reduced it down to about 25 millimeters for the large one and 15 for the smaller one. I grouped the interior sections for the engrave. And you'll see the effect of this in just a second. I made those outlines myself by hand in Illustrator, went ahead and joined those sections so we had a full outline. Here's what the engrave is gonna look like. It's actually opposite from the original drawing. And I ended up making a piece later to check it out and see which I like better. Turns out this first iteration is the one that I liked. 0.9 millimeters is about as small as you can go for those hole cutouts at the top. That is as tiny as you can be with a 16th inch end mill is 0.9 millimeters radius. Go ahead and do 1.5 millimeters around it and you end up with a really nice hole for a piece of jewelry. With the top hole and the outline of the tiger face booleaned together, we have an outline, we're off and running in the Nomad. The Super Hold Kit is what you want for projects like this. Thin stock, definitely use super glue and blue tape. This is a perfect kit with the accelerator from us. Buy it, use it, it is wonderful for this type of work. One note, try and leave some tape tabs on either side of your stock so when you go to pull it up, you don't end up bending it. You can pull on that tape and pull it loose. It will hold things tight for sure. I used it on an HDM project with a giant block of aluminum that was about eight inches wide by inch and a half thick. It holds it just fine. The Super Hold Kit is something you definitely want at your disposal. 0.8 millimeter brass, 120 degree MC etcher, 1 16th flat end mill for the cutout, 30 degree linear engrave. I like to pre-polish the plate, then post-production use a jeweler's rag to shine everything up. That way you won't buff out the detail you put in there with the MC etcher. Shapeoko handled this beautifully. Make sure you flatten your wasteboard and crank up the router on the cutout. I invite you to take a look at both of these. This is the same file run on each machine, same speeds, same exact tools transferred between the two machines. There is nothing different about the program itself. So the question is, can you tell which was done on which machine? Go ahead and make your guess. Inspect it carefully. Zoom in on the video. I'll even zoom the picture in for you. And a slow pan. Get out your jeweler's eye and see if you can tell which of these cuts was done on the Nomad, which of these was done on the Shapeoko Pro. If you can figure it out, then... This is the final answer heard all around the world. He's won a million dollars. Okay, for real, the Nomad is on the right. The Pro is on the left. If you check out the lines with microscopic precision, I think you can see it, but it has the tiniest of differences. I came away from this challenge impressed with both machines for different reasons. One with the Nomad. That little guy is dialed in. It is spot on perfect. Love the lines that come off of it. If you're going to make jewelry and do necklaces or earrings and that's your thing, the Nomad will serve you well. On the Shapeoko Pro side, I also came away impressed with that machine that the difference was so minuscule. Anyone looking at your jewelry product wouldn't know if you made it on a Nomad or a Shapeoko without a jeweler's eye, without inspecting them both right up next to their face. That's the only way they're going to be able to figure it out. To answer the question from last week, can you make small brass jewelry on the Shapeoko Pro? Yes, you can. Thanks for asking. Thanks for making this video a thing and appreciate you watching.